Beginning of the year, Abby Steiner was for sure a known athlete, but mostly in America. After this outstanding season, she is known worldwide and she made herself to a track and field superstar. The first rise of Abby Steiner started actually in 2021. On the 11th of December, she ran a sensational 300 meter indoor in a time of 35.80 and placed herself sixth of all time. In 2022, Abby Steiner had a sensational indoor season. Over 60 meters, she got second behind Melissa Jefferson in a time of 7.10. Over 200 meters, she won the NCAA championships as a favorite in a great time of 22.16. Earlier in the season, Abby improved her personal best to 22.09 in Texas. Overall, she placed herself first in the list of the fastest 200 meter runner of the season. 9th of April, Abby showed very early in the season that she's in absolute stunning shape. Over 100 meters, she ran an outstanding 10.92. Two weeks later, she also showed that she's a world class athlete and ran over 200 meter 22.05. Even when she ran another PR in the heats over 100 meter in a time of 10.90. In the final of the NCAA championships, she only got third in a time of 11.08. In this race, you can see that Abby need to work on consistency on the first meters. But that's totally normal for a young athlete. Over 200 meter, nobody could catch her. The athlete from Kentucky won in a sensational time of 21.80. Now it's time to qualify for the world championships at the US Nationals. Abby decided not to compete over 100 meter and focused on the 200 meter run. It was worth it. In the world leading time of 2177, Abby Steiner won her first national championships. Just a couple hours later, her world leading time was gone. Sharika Jackson ran an unbelievable 2155 over 200 meter at the Jamaican Nationals. Considering that the world record from Florence Griffith Joyner is 2134, Sharika Jackson is not far away from it. 14th of July, Abby pronounced on social media that she signed with Puma. So the next year she can focus on her track and field career. Abby ranked herself second going into the world championships. Her goal was for sure to win a medal. In a very fast race, she ranked herself fifth in a time of 22.26. Sharika Jackson won a national record of 21.45, the second fastest time ever. Shelley and Fraser Price got second with a time of 21.81, and the bronze medal won Dinah Asher Smith in a time of 22.02. Placing fifth at her first World Championships is for sure a big success. We have to see that Abby had overall more than 50 races in the season. That's probably the only disadvantage as a college athlete, that the race plan of your college will burn you out a little bit. Two days later on the 23rd of July, Abby won her first World Championship medal. In the 4x1 relay team, the US beat the Jamaicans and won gold in the time of 41-14. What a success for Melissa Jefferson, Abby Steiner, Jenna Brandini and Vanisha Terry. If you think that was the last race of Abby at the World Championships, then you are wrong. 24th of July, Abby participated in the 4x4 relay team. The US team won again against Jamaica. The US had a great team with Talita Dix, Abby Steiner, Bryden Wilson and world record holder and world champion Sydney May Loughlin. In around 24 hours, Abby won two gold medals with the relay team at the world championships. What an achievement. Abby is a complete athlete, she is able to accelerate very quick, her top end speed is great and she also has great sprint endurance. Actually in the next years, she can decide if she wants to run the 100, 200 or the 400 meter. I see her definitely on the 200 meter. What do you think? Which event should Abby run? If you missed my last video about the athletes who didn't do so well at the World Championships, check out the right corner. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.